what's poppin youtuber welcome to my channel astro finesse it's your boy lil finesse jiggy hippie back with another video for y'all in this video right here we're going to be talking about if you have uranus in the sign of scorpio or in the eighth house and i'll pause for the cause if you don't know how to find your uranus placement if you're a new subscriber if you're just starting off your journey of self-love self-knowledge, self-understanding, if you don't realize why it's so important that you must look at your birth chart, you must study your birth chart, you must understand your birth chart, love yourself through astrology and numerology. Nobody puts you on as to why you have to do that. Don't worry, I got you. There's a couple of videos. I'll put the link in the description. You have to watch them first to become hip to the knowledge of what I'm about to talk about right now. So if you look at your birth chart or your natal chart, it's the same thing. And you realize you have Uranus in the sign of Scorpio or the eighth house. This video is for you. So, without further ado, let's just get it popping, shall we? Now, you already know before I start, I'm gonna give y'all a list of some celebrities so y'all can visually see what Uranus and Scorpio people look like and act like in reality. Then, I'm gonna have a list of celebrities that have Uranus in the eighth house. So, to start, we got Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, Kanye West, Jessica Alba. Pink, Alicia Keys, Kobe Bryant, Aaliyah, Kelly Rowland, and Nick Cannon. And now these are celebrities that have Uranus in the eighth house. So we got Marilyn Monroe, Robin Williams, Kourtney Kardashian, Naomi Campbell, Russell Brand, Conor McGregor, Maya Angelou, Lenny Kravitz, Selena, and Amber Rose. All right, so boom, Uranus in Scorpio or the eighth house. First of all, what does Uranus mean? What does Uranus represent in our birth chart? So the planet Uranus rules Aquarius. So when you think about Uranus, think about Aquarius energy, which is eccentric, sporadic, spontaneous, unconventional, likes to break the rules, likes to break traditions, likes to go against the grain individualistic so uranus the planet lets us know where in our life we feel the need to go against the grain feel the need to go against social norms feel the need to be liberated feel the need to be liberated by having a lot of freedom and individuality in this area of life uranus the planet changes signs every seven years so those that are in, those that are in your generation will have the same uranus sign look at the house that uranus is in will tell you where in your life feel the need to break free? Where in your life feel the need to go against the grain, to be liberated? And also, where in your life you will you will face the most unsuspecting occurrences, the most sudden, sporadic changes in your life? Uranus can be so associated with a lightning bolt. When a thunderstorm, lightning strikes, you don't know when the next one is coming, but it just comes unsuspectingly and you feel it. It could be associated with uh, natural disasters like hurricanes, tsunamis, tornadoes, things that come in unsuspectingly, create chaos, changes things around, and then leaves unsuspectingly. So in your chart, in your lifetime, Uranus tells you where you'll face the most unconventional unconventional attitudes, unconventional occurrences in your life. Also, where you feel the most need to be liberated, to be most individualistic, and most importantly, to go against the grain, to be able to not be conformed. Uranus does not like to be conformed. In the whole solar system, Uranus is the only planet that goes on its side. It does not like to conform to anything. So now, what does it mean having Uranus in Scorpio or Uranus in the 8th house? Now, already, now, we already know that Scorpio energy, we'll start off by saying this. We already know Scorpio energy is all about, you know, submerging, merging with, merging with one person. It's all about the deep darkness, depths of everything, looking deep into things. 8th house energy is all about your shared income, shared resources intimacy, sex, things that have to do with merging and submerging to things. And Scorpio energy, you already know, likes to hold on to things. It really likes to be focused on one thing and hold on to it for a long time. It likes to really keep things for itself and hold on to it. But what Uranus does here is it comes in and it kind of makes you, it kind of makes you not able to really hold on to things because what it does, it kind of makes it sporadically changes things sporadically makes things leave you when you want to hold on to too much sporadically makes unsuspecting occurrences happen in that scorpio energy and the eighth house energy now what does that mean so to start off we already know scorpio energy eighth house energy is all about intimacy and sex and shared resources 
What Uranus does a lot of times with these people, especially early on in their childhood, similar to Uranus in the Cancer or in the fourth house, early on in your childhood, when you crave that stability, when you crave that intimacy, when you crave that, when you had someone or something or situation that you really want to hold on to, and you put your whole heart and soul into it, Uranus kind of came in here and kind of shook it up and kind of like left it, kind of made it leave you, kind of made you not be able to really feel safe and secure when you want to hold on to something because things are always going to leave, come and go unsuspectingly. Uranus does things unsuspectingly. So in this lifetime, you will feel that these people will have, um, I'm not going to say intimacy issues, but I'll say they kind of have, Scorpio energy already has trust issues already. But having Uranus in the eighth house or Uranus in Scorpio will kind of make you, because of their, your life experiences, kind of make you afraid to hold on to things too much, to be too submerged into somebody, to be too intimate with something for a long time because you're used to things sporadically changing. Scorpio energy is all about transformations, um, sudden chaotic transformations coming in and changing your life. Uranus is all about uh, sporadic changes and transformations and chaotic events coming in and changing your life. So y'all will go through a lot of transformative events that is like y'all go through a lot of sporadic death events when i say death events i don't mean physically death even though uranus in the eighth house can mean like sporadic or unsuspecting deaths i'm not trying to scare y'all when i say that but really like listen when i say this deaths as in death of your personality deaths of death of a mindset you had death of a relationship Deaths of things will, all, will happen a lot sporadically in this lifetime for y'all. Y'all can wake up one day feeling one way, doing something, living your life totally a certain way, or holding on to something, holding on to a relationship a certain way. And Uranus will always come in and kind of shake things up and change it up. It will kind of make things die and rebirth all the time. Like y'all go through constant death and rebirths in this lifetime constantly because Uranus always wants to change things up and shake things up. Y'all will feel the most stable within yourself the most free and individualistic within yourself when you are experiencing studying learning about or thinking about eighth house things taboo things scorpionic ta scorpionic type things thinking about death thinking about darkness thinking about occult knowledge y'all could y'all could be type really like studying about things that are really deep and dark that's where y'all feel the most free and fulfilled when you can actually study and learn about things that people don't really talk about when it comes to sex, y'all are the type to be really experimental. Y'all have a whole unconventional way of looking at things when it comes to intimacy, sex, and submerging with somebody and with a partner type thing. Y'all have a whole unconventional way of looking at it. So understand this about yourself. Understand that in your lifetime, the more you really want to attach to something, the more you really want to hold on to something, understand that Uranus is kind of training y'all. It's kind of making you be able to be able to be okay with things changing. It's kind of making y'all able to adapt to things easily. With this placement, over time, you will learn that you are actually really good at adapting to different situations because you're used to things always constantly changing, things always constantly dying and, rebir and rebirthing itself, things always chaotic coming in out of nowhere. So like y'all are gonna be used to being able to adapt to different situations. Understand that people around you will look at you as like, Y'all are very weird and eccentric as to um, what you think about sex, as to what you do on your free time, what you like doing, what you like studying, what kind of things you're into. Like Y'all are going to be against the grain and um, unconventional in these areas in life. Now, we already know uh, Uranus likes to do things unsuspectingly. Eighth house energy is all about shared income, shared resources. So y'all can unsuspectingly gain income, gain inheritance with someone, gain inheritance from a partner. Y'all can unsuspectingly just get get a lot of money easily from another resource or from taxes or things from from another resource or y'all can unsuspectingly lose it like that. So understand that really be careful about how you're spending your money when it comes to sharing it with people, with a business partner, with a marriage, uh, paying your taxes, things like this when it has to, when it has to do with <laughs> things like this when it has to do with money. Be, um, be aware and be careful of how you're spending it, how you're saving it, and how it's coming and going in your life. Because Uranus always does things unsuspectingly. That's the biggest thing for this placement. People that are dealing with you need to understand that y'all do love intimacy. Y'all crave that intimacy. At the same time, Uranus does not like to be conformed. Uranus does not like to be just like everybody else. Does not like to be part of society, societal norms. So y'all have a crave for intimacy. At the same time, y'all like, kind of have a detachment. To intimacy, y'all have a different view of intimacy, a different view of sex, a different view of 
marriage and relationships in that kind of way, in a more intimate, deep way. Not marriage in a seventh house Libra way, but like marriage and partnership in a more intimate, scorpionic type way. Y'all have a different view of it. So y'all could be the type to be, like I said, very experimental in this avenue. Y'all could be the type to not really want to submerge yourself to someone so much that you don't have your own individualistic way of expressing yourself or your own individuality, basically. Y'all do not want to be too attached to something because you're because you're all used to things constantly dying, things constantly transforming, things constantly shaking up and just being sporadic in that kind of avenue. So those dealing with y'all need to understand need to understand that they have to be patient with you when it comes to this. But you have to understand yourself as a person, as an energy. Understand that you're going to go through a lot of transformative events, big time. Eighth house energy is already trans transformations. Uranus is going to really make y'all go through a lot of transformative, life-changing events in this in this reality. So the more you embrace change, the more you try not to hold on to things too much, the more you're actually able to understand that things are going to come and go in your life. Understand that you're going to be losing a lot of things, but at the same time, you'll be gaining a lot of things unsuspectingly. It's not all about things dying and that's it. It's things dying and then things being resurrected, things changing, things being like that phoenix rising, it's like things will come into your life unsuspectingly too. It's not all negative. But understanding why these things are happening, understanding the kind of person you are, understanding that you actually need to be able to really dig deep into occult knowledge, dark topics, like things that are taboo. Aquarius energy, Uranus energy is all about that eureka moment. So y'all can have like strong visions of things. Y'all can tap into the underworld of reality. Y'all can tap into the other realms of reality on an even deeper level because Uranus here is all about insight, a progressive thinking, eureka moments, that that's that's uh, that strike of lightning, that lightning bolt, or that um or that light bulb moment in your in your life. So y'all could go through a lot of transformative eureka moments of visions. Y'all could see things that people don't see. Y'all could see through things. Y'all could really have a strong way of being like a psych like you have like strong psychic abilities with this placement because Y'all could tap into things that people don't really want to tap into, that people don't really like learning about. The, the taboo-ness, the unconventionalness is what y'all really are going to be attracted to. That's what y'all have the sense of freedom, and that's what y'all feel is the most individualistic in this avenue. People look at y'all like, you're, you're so weird doing this, you're so weird studying this, you're so weird learning about this stuff, but that's what makes y'all feel the most fulfilled and free. Y'all have a more detached kind of energy when it comes to intimacy and closeness like that. Because, like I said, in the past, y'all have experienced things coming and going sporadically. So it's, it's kind of tough for y'all to hold on to things like that. But the more that you're indulgent in learning about, you know, scorpionic things, the more you're indulgent in, like, learning about psychology, astrology, things of the things of that nature, that is what you will realize. Like, damn, I'm really into these kind of, I'm really into these kind of things. And you have a more better understanding of these things than other people because your mind could tap into the other realm easy. Uh, Aquarius energy, Uranus energy could tap into things. Eighth house, Scorpio energy is all about the, the other realm, the darkness, the the underworld energy, the taboo-ness. So y'all could tap into these things. Y'all could tap into these things on an even deeper level. Really strong psychic abilities having this placement. So it's not all bad. But understand though, and I have to say this, I'm not trying to say this to scare y'all, but this is all this this is like basically information, the research I make, and I'm just sharing it with y'all. Understand that life and death or our death occurrences will can happen unsuspectingly. I'm not on, I'm not trying to say this is only physical, but things will die a lot in your lifetime. Either things around you, things in your life, relationships, things that you're trying to hold on to just kind of dies and like kind of leaves you kind of thing. But then understand that things will also come into your life. So the more you study about yourself, love yourself, understand yourself and put yourself in situations that kind of help you as a person, help your energy understanding why things happen that you don't really try to put yourself in a dark mood all the time you don't really be hard on yourself because you don't know why things are happening why things are leaving you so much if you understand who you are understand your energy you can go through this life and really finesse your way through life and know like what's going on and how to be the best version of yourself so understand that things will come and go monetary possessions when it comes to assets and shared income can come and go um, sex for y'all is very experimental, very taboo. Y'all really like to do the other. Y'all really like to have a. Y'all have a different way of looking at sex in a really intimate way. So sharing that with your partner, letting them know that you're really experimental, you really like to do different things, 
Y'all do not like through the same boring, mundane way of having sex or same boring, mundane way of having sex the same way, the same place. Y'all like to do things sporadically in that kind of way. But all in all, though, understand that transformation is like the key for this placement. So really embrace change, embrace being able to adapt to your environment, adapt to different circumstances and all that. And that's when you realize like after you have embraced these changes, you will realize like even though something died and something left you and something kind of um, didn't work out, after the after effect, the resurrection effect, the phoenix rising effect of the transform of the transformation effect actually benefits y'all more than what more than what left, if that makes sense. So really embrace change with displacement. Don't be too hard on yourself when things don't go your way or things are always changing and transforming. Understand that these things are happening to teach you to be adaptable to your environment. And it's happening because Uranus is always comes in and changes things up. Uranus is really a planet that it's a if you pay attention to it, you can embrace it. But if you're not, if you're ignoring it, if you don't like really want to, if you don't really want to understand why it's happening, in your lifetime you wake up one day and be like, yo, what's going on? Like, what, where is this coming from? Where are my thoughts coming from? Why is my mind going like this? Like, why am I thinking about this stuff? Like, why am I doing these things? That's why I'm saying like really understand astrology and understand your chart as a person to really be able to put yourself in the best situations in this lifetime. So that's my video on Uranus and Scorpio. I hope y'all enjoyed that. My next video is gonna be on Uranus and Sagittarius and you already know I'm about to go in. If you have subscribed to my channel, I appreciate every one of y'all for real, for real. But if you still haven't subscribed yet, I don't know what you're waiting for. Go ahead and handle that one time for your boy. Don't forget to drink your water, mind your business, and be safe out here. It's your boy Lil Finesse Jiggy Hippie. I'ma see all y'all when I see y'all.